Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got Kais coming out, and uh, we're pretty excited. Kais is an eighth grader. Amazing. Well, you'll see why. Okay, so let's get you started. Um, light crossover. Last time we worked on the rhythm, right? One, two, three. So I want you to set up, up, one, two, three, and then deliver. Okay? E e yeah, just throw right, right, right out here as well. Nothing big yet. Save some big throws for a little later. As you go through this seventh step, build up off that crossover. Okay, so this stuff has got to build to this focus here. Okay, and we're looking at the same same cross, right? It's one, two, three. So take your time to set up for it. When you come down two, three, it's delivery time. Okay, so I'm, my goal is to emphasize this for you. So everything builds up off of this spot right here. Right, so everything is build, 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 and then go, go with it, right? Because you can see there's a little bit more of something here, and the adds more energy, right, and sets you up. You come down on your right foot, and you are coming down onto it. I want you to stay back during the crossover. So, so build, stay back, and stay back. That way you go right foot to left foot and you keep moving out to your throw. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Do another dry run like that. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. to be up here and feeling comfortable so balancing that back foot tall chest that's it right there okay yeah I, I want you in this really long comfortable position when you come down and then again keep moving through recovery steps until you get to the grass okay should be smooth but I just want a longer range of motion you're opening the shoulders a little too early coming in here I want you long flowing through Oh yeah. The speed that you land from your right foot to your left foot is really important, okay? Because that's the baseline speed that builds up the rest of your body, right? 
So when you come down from your crossover, you've got to be in a position where it's, right, it's fast from right foot to left foot. The second piece, and this is the more important piece for you right now, that is upper body angle. Your upper body angle is forward. And it's really straight up and down. And as soon as you hit your block, you can see your chest is now forward. And that's where you can feel there's a fair amount of stress that hits you here. Javelin's way up here, and you're trying to throw high, but your body's going low. So what you've got to do is go through the cross so you're still back here. So when you go from right foot to left foot, you're moving up high out of it. You're going from this angle up. That make sense? So what I want you to do is just do a couple of drills, and then we'll get a, a jab in your hand. We'll get some more throws. But I want you to go through like a little five step. Okay. Hi, Brooke. Uh, <laughs> she's adorable. So do your little crossover. Um, take a couple of steps back, okay? So that way you've got a little five step, okay? And then up. Get the hips out in front of you. Upper body stays back. There you go. Okay? You got it down now. So go try it. Get the upper body back. Okay, left, left hip is going to be out in front just a little bit so the upper body stays back. And then you're just going to do a fake throw to come out of it. I don't want you to stop. Good. Stay back. And up. Yeah, do it again. like it. Gary, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, her body goes up. That's right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, try that one again. And then move up through it. Move up through it. Perfect. Gary, why don't you come out here? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use you as sort of my demonstration. Uh, the upper body is really heavy, right? And when it travels, it pulls the arm through. So you're trying to get the upper body to do a lot more into pulling the shoulders and the arm through, okay? So there's a drill I call the seesaw drill. Um, so get in uh, your regular throwing position right here. Grab hold of the javelin. Turn around so you're going to face me. Grab hold of the javelin right here. Okay, javelin is up. Kais will get in her finishing position, which is here. So just rock back and then move towards me, yeah. And then strike through, bring that arm through, okay? So the idea is the whole body goes through. So I'm going to turn my hip first, okay? And then the upper body is going to pull you back to that starting position. So go ahead and turn your right hip and then get your upper body to come through and pull me back, pull me back. There you go. And the reality is you can, you can create a lot of force by doing that. If all you do is turn here and pull the arm and then start pushing the arm, you're using your muscles and there's no weight behind it. Get your chest to do more of the job. Okay, you want to do it with your dad? Okay. So hang on to it right there. And hang on to it right there. So you'll scoot up. You'll be in your finishing position right here, nice and high. And he's going to push you back. Yeah, stay up look close to her. There you go. Now, you're going to just turn the hip and then roll up through. And you rock back on that back foot slow. Hips. Okay, so turn your hips and then your chest moves towards your dad. There you go. Good. A little bit of resistance so you feel like there's something there. No, no, keep your feet there. Otherwise, you'll be too far away from her. Yep. Okay. So now turn your right hip and then your chest moves towards her. Okay, and then you... Send it back. Hips to shoulders. Okay. okay one more, Kaif. Good. Rock back. Hips to shoulders. Hips to shoulders. Hips and shoulders. Good. Okay. We'll pull that one good. really amazing is that uh, Thais is only in 8th grade. Only in 8th grade. Let that sink in just a little bit. Only in 8th grade. Okay.
if you guys can hear, but Harry's trying to get Caiz to growl or yell or grunt or make some sort of noise. <laughs> and so they're practicing their grunts. So funny. <laughs> that was a practice yell. <laughs> Gary's embarrassed. I love the gur. That was great. <laughs> so uh, let's talk a little bit about homework. Uh, keep working on that crossover. So you got that rearward lean. Okay, that means also shoulders need to be back and ready for the throw. Well, your hips are going to be staggered. They're not going to be forward, right? They're going to be back this way, right? But you've got to have the left hip sitting out a little bit when you go through that cross so that your upper body can stay back. Does that make sense? So <clears throat> build up on the on the runway or at home, wherever. Build up and work through that little rearward lean. And then you got to land from that rearward lean and then move up and out of the throw. I want you to keep moving up and out of the throw. Otherwise, you're going to start jarring yourself as you land. You're going to hit, hit, right? So you got to move up and out of it. All right, guys, uh, I am spent, so I'm going to get out of here. I uh, appreciate you watching. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so each time I upload a new video, you get notified. And uh, if, if you don't mind, share this with uh, other folks that, that appreciate this javelin stuff. And until I see you next time, have fun and throw far. <laughs>